Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. You've heard it said before, they do things just a little bit bigger in Texas and particularly in the Big D. So many big games on this patch of turf. Oklahoma and Texas have played here over the years, and what a great traditional setting for a neutral side showdown. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. side action and we're just about ready for kickoff it's time for the coin toss now presented by coke zero real coke taste zero calories enjoy everything the army, army tees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff Caught at the eight. Gets out to about the 31. Fields is coming out for the first time. Home field. He loves the spotlight, and this crowd is amped right now, Kurt. Brad, we've seen over the years guys who have a chance to play at home, how they seem to play better. But this crowd's been anticipating this the entire week, and now it's right here before them. I tell you, I think he's having an effect not only on his own offense, but his own defense, and even this crowd. You talk about a difference maker. That's what this young man really is. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Right, he's he's in receiver. Receiver. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on their own 31. Slings it. And down he goes at the 34. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Just throws this one away. Fields is the kind of guy that could end up with some national honors because right now he's leading the conference statistically. Merrill is back awaiting the punt. Merrill fields at the 31. He makes it out to maybe the 43 yard line. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Still first down. From the 42 yard line, it's first down. Gets to about the 41 yard line. Lewis only picks up about a yard there on the option. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Now he's scrambling, and they get the sack. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. He found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Johnson is back deep to return. Touchdown. Little 
little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. the 33 yard line maybe after a nice run like that you try to go up in the air for the play action pass he steps out at the 37. yard line the sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle they get only a yard from the pass play you know this veteran wide receiver is not always easy to stop so that's a good job here by the defense to slow him down So far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Up the middle for a nice game. the ball tackled for a loss third down now they need to get it out to midfield he's scrambling they bring the quarterback down Patrick is waiting for the snap. Johnson takes it to 25. He's tackled at the 38-yard line. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. Personal foul. Clipping. Clipping. Receiving, Receiving team. team. That one's going to put him way Still back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 18. Now he tries to buy some time. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Smith was his intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. Tackles him hard at the 10-yard line. So the sack makes this third and very long. to the receiver incomplete that's exactly how they drew it up in the sideline and now they get the ball back 
Monroe to punt. Merrill takes it at the 45. He's taken down at the 37-yard line. You talk about our meetings this week with the defensive coordinators, Kirk, and this is what they were hoping for, that they can control the line of scrimmage. Uh, these players must have been listening pretty intently because that's exactly what we've seen. These defenses have come out. They've controlled things early, trying to just set the tone. It's really going to be up to both of these offenses to try to make some adjustments and try to be able to come after them in some way. Nice run up the middle. That makes, that makes it second, second and six. six. He fights forward to about the 30. So at the end of one, this one's scoreless. Set to resume action here in the second quarter. We've got a tight ball game. Caught with room to work. And he's taken down at the 23 yard line. Inside the 10. What a play, and that is first and goal. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. And he's stopped behind the line. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. Down Black Knights. And he tacks on the extra point. So that's a seven play, 35 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Army is lining up to kick this one off. Takes it from the six. Tackle made at the 31 yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Makes the catch and look out. He's tackled at about the 39 yard line. Sheds one tackler, and they make the stop at the 35. From their own 35-yard line, it's third down. And he's tackled around the 39-yard line. Monroe is the punter. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. Momentum swings have been fairly even. 
And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Army is up seven. And they'll get him in the backfield. The quarterback tried to do a little too much by himself. Hey, maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. Gets to around the 42. That's a game of 10 on the play. That'll bring up 32. They'll bring him down at the 39. That was a loss of three yards. Patrick awaits the snap. Calls for the fair catch. Both defenses really played well so far. So up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 26. Moves up in the pocket. Going deep. Incomplete. He caught it, but failed to get that one necessary foot in. That's an outstanding catch, and he just missed making a big-time play. So the official's taking a look at this play to see if the receiver got a foot in bounds. Regardless of the outcome of this review, I still think that this guy made an excellent catch. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So they'll overturn the call and rule this a completion. There was a bad call made on the field, but they were able to fix it because of the replay. This is exactly why the booth review is a great thing for college football. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Pass right, running back's got it. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. I like how the offense is using the pass to get him involved. He's explosive, and you just want to get the ball in his hands. Finds his receiver. Touchdown. Stepped up and threw a touchdown pass to his wideout. Yep, good job of protection, and the quarterback spotted his man. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he hits the PAT. So a short three-play, 23-yard drive, and the result, seven points. We're even at seven in this one. Louisiana Tech lines up for the kickoff. Alexander takes it to 12. He makes it to the 25-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. The Black Knights taking their first time out of the half. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Rose, and it's knocked away. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up, and something good may just happen. Made at 
the 30. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. Johnson back to return it. He makes it out to midfield. He showed a good burst there. I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there when they gave up such a long drive has had an impact and an effect negatively on the psyche of this defense. receiver and that's a first down he's taken down at the 30 yard line the defense might need to make some changes to their coverage scheme because that was just too easy he's at the 20 and down he goes at the 12 from the 12 yard line second down Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Under heavy pressure. He's wrapped up for the sack. We've played a half. We get a tie game at 7-7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Defense has been dominant in this game. Yards very hard to come by. But David, as we get deeper and deeper into this game, the natural assumption is that the pressure goes to the offense to do something. How much pressure is on the defense not to make that catastrophic mistake? Well, that, that's, the, that's the conundrum you get in. I mean, it makes it exceptionally tough because you want to play perfect, and you want to get them to punt every single time, but it's not the way it works. And it's those big plays that you usually see that kill the defenses and break their backs. And you can hold them great, Reese, on first down, second down, it's third and long. You're in a perfect situation. You give up that one play for 80, and it changes the whole complexion of the game. So I think you got to have a little bit of both. It can't just be great defense the whole time. Usually the teams that play great defense can keep you in it, but only for so long. At some point, that offense has to get something going. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Red and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. Well, we welcome you back to the action. Just about set to start the second half in a tie ball game. From the seven. Tackle at the 33. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You gotta make every possession count. Makes it to the 47. Tackle right around the 42 yard line. Down. 
the 39-yard line. Henry gets the option and takes it forward for about a three-yard gain. You have to like how this linebacker was able to move up quickly and bring down the ball carrier for a short gain. Nice stop by the junior. Run play, and he'll lose yards. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. Lunch it all, going deep. Lost the ball, fumble. Recovered by the defense. What do you think about that last turnover, Kirk? Way to be heads up out there. That corner just made one heck of a play recovering that fumble. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Here comes the pressure. Going deep. Lays it out there. Nice catch on that one. And now the ball is loose. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. Now it's first and ten with the defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Fires quickly, and he's got his man, and he's taken down right around the 26-yard line. That'll bring up second and two. out to around the 15. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. Caught out in the open. Touchdown, Bulldogs. They saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. He makes the PAT. A short three-play, 33-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. So the score now, 14-7. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Caught at the eight, and he's taken down at the 34-yard line. The Bulldog staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. It's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. And he's level at the 32. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 32. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That brings us third and 12. And 
and he's going to be sacked. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Patrick to punt. Johnson fields it at the 38. Brought down at the 48-yard line. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Out of bounds around the 49-yard line. Louisiana Tech is up a score. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's tackled at the 43. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. They're all tied in on the line here on fourth and short. Thomas gets a call. They didn't get it. Defense stiffens there and gives it back to their offense. Well, they went with a toss play here, but no one on that defensive side of the ball was fooled. you got to give them credit for making a great play. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They bring him down in the backfield. We've got a second and 11. Ball on their own 44. And they make the stop at about the 47-yard line. And he's tackled at the 48. You know, the offensive play calling wasn't clicking on that last drive, and their execution was lacking. That brings us fourth and three. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. They went for it on fourth down on their last possession and weren't successful. Let's see if this offense can reestablish some confidence after being stopped on downs the last time they were out on the field. And they get nice yardage on that run. One more quarter of action remaining, and this one has been a real treat. 14-7, Bulldog. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Louisiana Tech is up by a touchdown. Makes the catch and look out. They'll bring him down around the 31-yard line. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle made at about the 33-yard line. hit 
before it can go anywhere. He's taken down at around the 48-yard line. Perfect timing here between the quarterback and the wide receiver. That's a big gain and more than enough for the first down. So it's another third down upcoming here. And he hits him hard at the 31 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Louisiana Tech up seven points. He was tackled immediately. <laughs> Tenth play of the drive. Check three, check three, check three. He fires left side. It falls incomplete. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance. But that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. This is the 13th play of this drive. And it looks like they're going to bring everyone in tight for this one. Here's a pitch left side. They'll drop in for a loss. Great job here in shutting down the run. That's a real boost for this team. Army's going to take their first time out of the half. Fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. Just over two minutes in the game. He gets it up, and he got it. Louisiana Tech's got one of the best quarterbacks in the business. He played like one on that last drive. Well, that drive was huge to set up that game-winning field goal. The quarterback at the time just looked so relaxed back there, like he was just playing a video game, just making good decisions and moving the ball right down the field to that game-winning kick. Frank is lined up to kick this one off. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. The Bulldogs have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. Well, you know the offense would like to generate more than they did on their last possession. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Tackle at the 34. He's under some heat. Slings it to his fullback. Brought down at the 42-yard line. He 
he's hit and taken down. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. The tailback, the intended target. But here the quarterback put just a little bit too much on the ball and overthrew him. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42. Just over a minute left. That's a great tackle at the 26-yard line. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. Steps up in the pocket. He throws it. And he dropped it. You don't think these guys get aggressive when it counts? Terrific hits to prevent the score. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 26. He's under some heat. And he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. This is the eighth play of this drive. Going for it all to the end zone. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's knocked out of bounds around the five-yard line. That makes it first and goal. It's first and goal, and they'd love to get into the end zone and make this a game again. possession game and this is where poise really takes over whoever shows it will win the football game to draw within a field goal and he tacks on the extra point At the 46. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. This guy just made those 10 yards look easy. Army will have one timeout remaining. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Under a minute left in the game. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. They're just running between the hash marks and daring the defense to stop them, which they did on that occasion. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. one for the books. We expected it to be great, and it was. Isn't it fun when you know coming into a game that you think a player might be able to kind of step up and, and separate himself from the rest of the pack, and then he delivers? Boy, it's been a real pleasure just sitting back and watching him perform today. That brings this broadcast to a close.
for EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street. I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.